Greg Chick, Ramona's Plumber here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to save water by turning your water pressure regulator down. Although this isn't a method you want to use to try to turn the pressure down on a regulator that's blown. Before we do any adjusting, we need to open a water valve just a little bit. So let's go inside. So what we're going to do is we're going to open this faucet up just a little bit. We don't have to turn it on all the way, that's plenty. So in order to adjust this, I'm going to use a ch pair of channel locks here. I'm going to release the locking nut that's on the bolt. Unscrew that thing so it's not locked down. And I'm going to unscrew the bolt also, which reduces the water pressure. Now, if I'm going to adjust this down about five, six pounds, that should be, do it. Maybe a turn, turn and a half or something for about five pounds. It's a good guess. We're going to go in and uh, look at the gauge now, and it's at 70. So I was, I did uh, 10 pounds on that. So if I wanted to take that down to a nice conservative pressure, Give it time to catch up there. This regulator is old. There we go, we're dropping. Now we're dropping. That is about 55. Let's be real conservative. Take it down just a little more. There we go. Down to about 45 or 50 pounds. That's very conservative. If you can get the soap out of your hair, and if you can wait for your, that long for your tub to fill up, you're a very conservative person, that'll do it. So now that we got it down to a conservative 40, we're going to tighten this lock nut down. And lock it into that position. And notice the bolt is out a little further than it was when it was at the higher pressure reading. The lower pressure reading, the bolt is out further. And that's a water conservation tip from Ramona's Plumber. Can you do it? Yes, you can. And I can help. For more information, RamonasPlumber.com and DIYPlumbingAdvice.com. Thanks for watching.